some concept is archaic, like pointer. You cannot find this kind of concept in any other language. So, but that is the strength and that is the weakness of the C language. So, you have to master it to a pointer if you want to have a, any grasp on C. So, pointer and all these areas which are coming to go again and again. Today, we learn by reference, by, by the, the example. We are simulating a stack here. And what is the thing is, the stack is a stack size is 50. So, always we prefer which is the constant thing we prefer, prefer by define. Can we do it in type diff? In the meantime, is also somebody who asks the question what is the difference between type diff and define? Here I go to this board, this portion of the board, this is type diff. This is a compiler instruction. Type diff is you can any Built-in data type, you can make it your own data type. Or generally, it is not built that way. Generally, any structure, you know, in my structure, you know, have a structure, name one, name two, address. Then you make it structure field, you give it my structure, my struct one. So, this is a compiler instruction, it is ended with semicolon. But, same purpose, and it is always replace that information with the type name. The same is done by define. But it is a, it is done everywhere, and it is done only that. That is clear. This is defined almost as, as a constant. But remember, there is no semicolon here. So here you see there is no semicolon. This is pre-compiler instruction. Remember, this is not compiler. This is compiler directive rather. This is not compiler. This is not part of the language. This is you can say pre-compiler. I am telling you pre-compiler because any compiler there will be. This is whenever anywhere it gets size, it will replace the field. So that is the best way. So type def is the generally main for if we want for different definition of our data type. Like I have my own structure, then we can go for type def. Okay, this is one. And here the pointer, this is there are another way you can write pointer. This is typical concept in int star here. And top of stack. This is also a value, but this is preferred. Okay. So both this is a pointer. Whenever there is a star, you know this is a pointer. Okay, this is P mark concept, the stack, and this is simple program you can understand that is this is top of stack, initial stack, and we have 50. And I am uh, entering the if I minus one, I will get rid of and with zero it will not push anything, it will push. Push into it and the pointer is increased. And whenever pop, and it is a if the top of stack it will come, if the top of stack it will go for stack underflow. So there is stack. The stack is this is a simple way we have an example of a stack. Stack is used everywhere because you know probably that you come to know that stack is used many places. If we see in the big part side, say if you have a tree. Uh, the stack, we are just simulating a stack because stack is one step is a bit harder step. That is used by operating system. And there are many stacks are working. Your, your, your operating system will need more stacks. One is hardware stack, another is all the, the simulated stack. The stack is used in traversal, then in the memory calculation, uh, post fix. Post fix value, then also so whenever they, they write like, like this, like we have in fixed position say 5 star 2, and another is 5 2 star. This can be loaded, this can be loaded, say 5 star 2, and this can be loaded in fixed position, and this is post fix. Post fix, yeah. yeah. Post fix, and if you load it here, star is here, 5 is here, 2 is here. Five is here automatically the value will be taken into account. This is post fix notation. Yeah, post fix. Post fix notation, it is you will not need bracket, but here you need bracket. If any other cross operation is required, so star has to be this has to be initialized first, but in this case, you do not need this kind of bracket. I will go for this. So in every case, not only this post fix or calculation or date first. You need use of stack. But here the simple example, what I am saying that 
malloc is pure now. If you say malloc 20, 20 by its infinity. If you say calloc, calloc requires two parameters. Size, um, how many integers? Like 4, 5. Then the 5 integers, 4 by 20 bytes will be again the 20 bytes will be there. But it will be initialized with 0, 0. Calloc. So calloc is better to use. It may be a little slower. Calloc is little better to use. And malloc is, is a faster. But this, but all the return type is a void pointer. So please do not confuse it. Void pointer doesn't return void. Void is a type class. And the advantage of void pointer is all the pointer, any other type can be needed, can be made to void pointer. It is required. It is required. Any other is null point. What is null? It is a it is defined in the standard I/O page. It is a null. Null is nothing but a zero. Okay, so better use now. Then your program is more readable. Don't use zero because zero you can use for comparing with anything. Okay, so always any pointer whenever you are not using, better to use as a null point. Better is initial than now. Okay. It is not a fix, literally to change. Another is dangling point. Dangling point means whenever the pointer is as the use. You already you are already use there is nothing you can say where it is. Point. So it can point to anything. So it's better that the dangling pointer, another is garbage pointer, all these things. So that is the pointer. Pointer, one thing I must tell you. Pointer, anything. Pointer can be incremented, can be decremented. Pointer cannot be marked. Though they are basically nothing but integer. Okay, there is pointer capital is integer or preferably character. Character. And you can always get the you can always see uh, what is the value of the pointer, the print percentage fee, and you can defer to your machine to machine. Okay. And pointer can be referenced to another pointer, 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 and how many levels it can do. It depends on compiler to compiler. Generally, it's 12. Because don't use this kind of thing. Pointer to pointer, like I can have a value like int. I can have a int start. Star pointer, star star pointer two, like this or I. So this is a double reference point. This is single reference, double reference. I can have pointer equal to address of I. I can have pointer two address of point. Okay, so. This point reference this, this point reference this. This, this is the if this is the code. But I particularly feel this is the only thing this is you have to be very careful. Uh, like uh, where the all the reference the value is for. And some of the question are asked of the memory static allocation. Static allocation that is a global variable for that file. Any other file that cannot be accessed, yeah, that is the use of static. And if it's a, if you do not use it static, that is a external. Should I repeat? Good. Okay. So that is it. So what I want to say, what is static? Static in in a single in field of a variable, in the same variable static here static i1, in another file static file two static i1. That is two completely separate variables. Please do not, but it is preferably not used. Okay. But that is a static. And whenever in a function you mention a variable name static i1, that means that variable it should not be used outside. But whenever you re enter that function again, the value will keep its value again. In one function, if it's come out, generally all variables are taken away. That is all variables are created in stack portion. But if you rename a variable with static name, that variable will be remain there with the uh, next time whenever you enter that is this is not very useful in this year, but whenever you go for C, then object oriented programming, then you know that you can create a class. Like in a structure, you can have a method associated. Then you can create an object, a like class and object. Then you can static variable, we can count how many objects should be created. Like in our class, in 
a lab class, we should, should not have more than 40 students. So if we have a lab class as a class, and we, generally we have a single variable, that is called class variable. Generally, generally no, that all variables should be static. That means whenever an object is created, that will be created plus initially in zero. Whenever the object is created, it will be plus plus and it will be j, it should not be greater than 40. If it is greater than 40, there is an error in the So there are the static variable is Static variable is sometimes called class variable. If the concept is same in C plus plus, in Java and Python. That is called the static variable. That is a very useful concept. But in C the static variable meaning is there, but it cannot be so useful. Okay, that is the use of static. Static has the even another static function. If you put something static in front of a function, that means that function can only be used only the functions in that part. Static means a kind of a concept part global concept. That should not be used. Any question? I think some of the questions I have not answered. Any question? Memory allocation? Any question I have not answered? Wow. 